Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Now I have issue in this my Toyota Corolla car that there is this bad idle speed and this bad idle speed happens when this engine is hot and there is no any bad idle speed issues when this engine is cool and cold. Okay, and now I am investigating that issue and then there is, by the way, now I notice that there is this error warning light again. But the most biggest issue is that, that this idle is moving up and down. Okay, and what is wrong? Next, and next I go to check my engine area and then we can see more. Okay, and now I believe that this my issue is in this fuel injection area. In that area, this fuel injection, uh, this throttle body area, or then in this intake manifold area. And here we can have some leak in that area. And now I am planning to fix that issue so that I am planning to replace all of these parts in here. And let's look at what happened then when I have new new things in here that how this my idle, idle speed happens then. And then we continue. Okay, and here is this first possible issue was that when there is this intake manifold that this gasket what is in here that there was some leak. And then we go to look next possible issue array. Okay, and here when we have this throttle body, the second issue area is this this sensor part in here, what is this idle speed sensor area where those coolant comes in and out in here, this part. And that's we need to open that area next. Okay, and first step when I start to do this this uh, throttle body and idle speed replace is always to take this power on in this this battery and we take this minus cable off and we need for that job this 10 millimeter socket. And I open that in here in that way. Let's go to look closer what I am doing. Because this is there is my target and I use this my tool in in that way. This is opening direction. Start end. Start end. Okay now when it's loosened I take my hands and I move that in here. Okay and then we continue. Okay, and here I have this 12 millimeter socket, one two millimeter in here, and, and this tool fits in here in that way. And I open these bolts in that way. Then I rotate this. This is my tool. I rotate this my tool so long that this bolt is free. Okay, now now it's free. It moves in here, and then second bolt is in here down. And now I use only this longer solder tool. That way, I open that. Okay, and I take only this tool in my hand.
Okay, now, now the second bolt is free and then in here we have the third bolt. Socket, and then I rotate my tool. And so long that this is okay. Now there is actually nut. Nut is there inside. Okay, that kind of nut. Okay, good. Now this. Total body is free. I only need to take these two hoses next open. Okay, and there I have those two of my total bodies, and this is this old one in here, and I have in there the new one. And now I am planning to insert the new one, and then I can later analyze why what is wrong in these sensors in here. And then I start to install that new one back. Okay, and now I am planning to open these four bolts in here that we can see for this situation. And there's Philips screwdriver. And let's look that. Can I open this? <laughs> this scene. This seems to be quite tight and I need now better screwdriver. Okay, they are so too tight. I take better tool. Okay, now I have better screwdriver and I try to open this. This seems to be really tight bolts and that's I need to go to open these bolts in my workbench next. Okay and now I am in my workbench and there is this my screws what I need to next open and I need next my hammer. There's my hammer and there is my this screw driver and now I am using this I insert by the way this my my throttle body in this this workbench now it's it fasten and then I try to then I try to open open this box so that I I hit, I hit in this, I hit a little bit that my tool in here, there is my hammer and I hit and now I believe that I can open this box. Okay and now it opens, look great. Now this bolt opens, I can rotate good, and then I open next, next bolt, what is in here, and then also hammering, what happens. Okay, this is still stuck. Now about then this final next one in here. It is also stuck and I need to hammer this more. Okay, 
this opens. Sisson. Okay, and these are very stuck in here, but I continue this opening. Okay, and here, here we have then this issues, the main point, if we have any issues in our hot and cold temperature engine, that we have idle speed issues, that car, car don't run nicely, like in hot, hot engine, then we need to check this idle speed control valve, and it looks like that. Normally it is in one area in this throttle body and, and it is easy to note that normally there goes two coolant hoses in and outline and then we need to open these bolts what are in here four pieces and sometimes they are easy to open and sometimes not like in that my case that I, I should do I must to cut these bolts because they were so tight. But I need to install new bolts back. And then when I opened, opened that my little speed control valve, there we can see that in that area there moves this coolant, coolant liquid. And how it how it works with this little speed console? This coolant water and this liquid goes in these holes in and out and there in that area there is this control valve in here inside in there we can maybe see a little bit and then when we like to check that what is this control valve status there is idea that there came those electric cables we need to open those two bolts more and they were also very tight and I need to cut those bolts but then when I manage to open those I can take this part out and there is the issue this my valve is totally rusty and now this my valve it don't move because these all parts are rusty and, and then when it don't move it don't change this electric adjusting device those amounts and val values that is this big value or small value because this control sensor measures these bars and this rods movement and now this is totally stuck can you see that there is it is totally rusty okay and how to fix then that kind of issue normally we need to purchase new sensor or sometimes if we take tongs we can maybe to lubricate that and next I take my tongs and we look that can I make this part to move again okay here are my tongs and then I try to rotate look that part in here can I rotate that when I take my tongs in here and I press that one that can I move that so that now there is cool grip and then I rotate this Oh no, this went broken because this is so rusty. Normally this part should move, but this is too rusty. Sorry, and that means that I can't anymore repair that. Okay, but I tried, but no worry, we can purchase new part and then install it back in here. And this was this my video's idea that how to check if you have idle speed issues. Please check your idle speed, this temperature sensor and valve.